guys, my name is Amber, and I resell part-time on eBay, Amazon, and Poshmark, and Facebook Marketplace. So today I wanted to go through a couple of things that sold on eBay for me in the last two weeks. So I sold two things yesterday. One was this History of Rock 10 CD set. I got it at an estate sale for $4. Um, the comps on Amazon were a lot better, but then I found out that I was restricted on Amazon and couldn't sell it. So I sold it on eBay for $16.99 with free shipping. So not a great profit there. Um, this next item I sold was a pair of men's Greg Norman black and white golf shorts. Now this was one of the first items I ever bought. <laughs> it was probably, it's probably been sitting in my bins for like two years, which is ridiculous. I need to start going through my bins and like really putting stuff up for like a 99 cent auction if it's been sitting for more than six months. But these finally sold for $18.99 and the buyer paid $3 shipping. So this was a really old listing. This was kind of before I knew what I was doing. I didn't have calculated shipping on it. I just put flat shipping for $3. So I probably made less than $18.99 on it. The next thing I sold was this sculptured chest set. It was from 1957. It was from this famous sculptor called Ganin. And I guess he had done like a collaboration with whatever company the chess set was made with and sculpted these pieces. Now they're plastic, they're nothing special, but they were reselling for really good money on eBay. So I bought this at an estate sale. I think they wanted 20, I think I talked them down to 10, I believe. And I sold it $60 plus free shipping and it only took a day. The next thing I sold was a food saver. I bought this at a thrift store. It was $6.99 and I had a half off coupon, so it was $3.50. It resold to somebody in California for $33 and they paid for shipping. The food saver also sold in one day. This is why they tell you not to let your death piles pile up because that's exactly what I did. I've had those two items for probably over three months and I just got around to listing them and they both sold within 24 hours. So that was $93 I was just letting sit around in my house. The next item I sold was a The North Face jacket. It was a puffer jacket. It kind of had a metallic sheen to it. It was really cool. I found it at a thrift store. Um, I'm a member of our local junior league and we have a thrift store for the junior league and I'm actually on the thrift store committee for the junior league. So I go in there quite often and I saw this one and then there's another, the North Face jacket that my husband wanted to keep, which is a bummer because that one probably would bring like $150. But this one sold for $60 plus shipping. And this one also sold in two days. The next item I sold was an HP ink cartridge, um, printer ink. It was, uh, I think I bought it for a dollar at an estate sale. Sold for $13, I offered free shipping. I didn't make a lot of money on that, but that just is what it is. So the next item I sold is pretty interesting. And this is what I mean by, I will sell anything if it, there's a profit to be had. So I found these three Schnauzer statues at this estate sale. They wanted $5 for each of them. And I had them bundle it. I think I got them for less. I think I got it like 10, $10 for all three of them. One of them's a little bigger. This one was a small one and it's called Sandy Cast, which I guess they don't make anymore. It's made in California, it's USA made. So this one sold for $20 plus shipping. It wasn't a, like a huge profit, but I have two more of them. So if they both sell for 20 bucks, that's $60, you know, $10 and $60. The next item I sold, it was a 2013 Starbucks mug. It had cork at the bottom, and I guess it originally came with a lid, but mine didn't have a lid. I found this at a thrift store. I think in Orlando and it was two dollars at the thrift store which is probably more than I should have spent on a mug but it sold for $14.99 plus shipping then I sold this game fits steering wheel for a Wii I knew it wasn't gonna bring a lot of money but I think I got it for like a dollar at the thrift store it sold for $10.99 plus shipping then on November 12th I sold this Capelli straw world colorful granny square purse it was really unique this is another item that I've had for a while. It's been sitting for a long time. So I was happy to let it go for $16 plus shipping. Then I had two pairs of jeans that somebody had given me like a lot of clothes to sell 
for them. These didn't bring a lot of money. It was $20, but it was at no cost to me. And I will keep you know, like 50% of the profit. So I made 10 bucks, not a huge profit, but I didn't spend anything on it either. The next thing I sold was a Levi's plaid flannel, well flannel, Levi's plaid flannel, flannel. Wow, <laughs> why can't I say that? The next thing I sold was a Levi's plaid flannel shirt and that sold for $18 plus shipping. That's probably been listed for about two months. Another item that sold were these women's Kamek Boral, Boreal, I'm sure I'm butchering that, um, boots. They sold for $35 plus shipping. Those have been listed for probably about three or four months. I knew I might have to wait for it to get a little colder for those to sell, and sure enough, they sold on November 7th. The next item I sold was such a cool find. Um, it was a radio transceiver or a uh, hand radio, hand, ham? radio um but i bought it for 60 dollars on an estate sale it had the manual with it it had the you know the mic at the walkie part of it and it had all the wires there was no way for me to test it so i just you know took a chance that it worked and i put that in the listing as well that i have no reason to believe it doesn't work but i have no way of testing it because it doesn't have a regular plug that you just like plug into the wall um so this sold for $160 plus shipping to Australia. And this person paid $120, I believe, or like maybe $90 to have it shipped to Australia. So I knew there was no way this item was coming back. I knew this was like a done deal because nobody's gonna pay an extra 90 bucks to ship it back to me if it's broken. So this was super cool. I didn't realize these resell for so much money. And I guess it's, you know, you can talk to anybody all over the world with these. So I'm, I like to think this person in Australia like lives in the bush and just wants to have a little communication in COVID times with people. So this was a nice flip. I made a hundred dollars on it. And I think it sold in, I want to say two or three days. This person made an offer. I had it listed for about two, 15, 220. Um, some people were selling those theirs for 260, but they were new in the box. So I priced mine a little lower. Another cool find that was on an estate sale. I was like the last one at this estate sale. It was almost closed and people had just not been paying attention to this item. And it was, um, this couch, like a slip cover for this couch. And I scanned it for Amazon and it came up and it was like $115 they were reselling for. So I grabbed it put it on eBay, offered free shipping, and it sold on November 1st for $95, and it was only listed for 24 hours. So those are my sales for November so far. Um, I've been really aggressively trying to list the last couple weeks because I have noticed sales obviously pick up the more you list, and like those shorts and a couple of other things, my old stock is selling because I'm listing new items. So that's a trick if you're new to eBay is you're supposed to list consistently. Consistency is the key. So that's it for me today. Thank you for watching and we will see you next time.